Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a Primark haul and a Poundland haul for September 2018. But before we do get started, I just want to say that um, there is going to be a little bit of a change in my channel and when I upload and things. At the moment, um, I've got it scheduled to upload on a Tuesday and a Friday at 7pm or 6pm, one of the two. But because it's been the summer holidays, I'm now actually working from home and I'm moving house, we've bought a house, so at the minute it's just so busy that unfortunately I haven't got the time to upload twice a week. So what I'm going to do for my own sanity before I just get you know, overwhelmed with how much I've got to do, I am actually just going to change that to once a week and I'm not sure what day I'm going to do it on, it might vary every week, so I'm not really sure how that's going to work, but at the minute there won't be videos on a Tuesday and a Friday every week. It will just be one video a week. And I will try to aim for the Tuesday or the Friday, but you might get an odd video on a different day. So I do hope that's okay. But please follow me on Instagram. It is Shelly Mummy Vlogs, and I will put a link to it down below because um, I am on there every day and I do do stories and things. So you can still see what I'm getting up to over there. But yeah, without further ado, let's get going. So today I'm going to start with the Poundland haul and show you what I got from there. So first of all we've got a 20 pack of sponges, we go through sponges like I don't know what so I just thought 20 for a pound, can't go wrong really can you, so yeah got those. I picked up some of these brunch bras, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I picked up some of these brunch bars, I did have one in the car on the way home and Ellie had a little bit as well, so you get six bars in there for a pound and I really like these ones because they're chocolate and raisin and I know they did have other flavours as well. I desperately needed some washing up liquid so I got this fairy one, this is the rose and satin, this was a pound and it's two in one, tough on grease, gentle on hands, so yeah I really liked the, um, the colour of that one so I thought I'd give that a go. I also needed some shower gel so I got this imperial leather one, this is the mango and papaya and yeah it smells really nice. And also on there you can get half price entry to Alton Towers so that might be handy to keep that and that was a pound and you get 60% extra free but yeah it smells really nice so I'm looking forward to using that in the shower. I got four of these tiny little lunch boxes they are to put in the kids lunch boxes when they have like cucumber and hummus and things so you get four in there and they've got the, um, the handles that fold over the side so you know they're going to be nice and secure and yeah obviously there was a pound. Next up I got some sandwich bags that have got like fun animal stickers on. I thought these would be quite good for obviously the kids sandwiches every day they would have a different sticker. So yeah they've got like giraffes, monkeys, penguins, camels, things like that and you get 60 in there for a pound. We're forever needing pens, so I just picked up this 20 pack of just blue ballpoint pens. They were a pound, so yeah, hopefully they'll keep us going for a little while. I needed some new um, antibacterial cleaner, so I bought this SIF one. This isn't one that I've used before, but I do like the look of it. As you can tell, I'm a sucker for nice packaging, so yeah, we'll give this a go. And that was obviously a pound as well. Next up is this things to do pad. I've seen this quite a lot on Instagram and on YouTube. So it's just a pad that you write everything that you've got to do in it. It's got things to do on that side and then it's got like different columns of tasks and then if you complete them or not. And then on the back it's got a section for notes and a schedule. So if you've got certain things that you want to do every week and you don't want to forget then you just write it down in there. So I thought it's about time I got more organised, so yeah, I bought that one. They did have different colours as well. And I also bought this little thing, it's a weekly planner, and you can stick this on your fridge because it's got a magnet on the back. So it says priorities, things to do, and then it's just got Monday to Sunday there, so the whole family can see if they've got anything that they need to do or if there's any appointments or anything. And yeah, that was a pound. 
I picked up some blue ribbons. You get six plus two, so you get eight in there for a pound. I picked up Ellie a book. It's called Moving Day, which is quite appropriate because obviously we're going to be moving house. And um, yeah, I like the illustrations inside. So yeah, that's just a nice book to read to her. Well, and to the two as well if they want. I got this book, which is also one that you can stick on the fridge. On the side here, it's got a shopping list and then meals here with a pencil. I've seen this on YouTube and Instagram as well, on other people's hauls. So yeah, I thought I would jump on that and get that as well because I need to start budgeting better for our food shopping and I thought this would help me. So yeah, we'll give that a go. I just wanted to fancy some chew it, so you get six in here for a pound and I know the kids are going to like these as well. So yeah, pick those up. We've got three cats, so I just picked up some of this Whiskers dried food. That is the chicken flavour. And then I picked up four tins of cat food. So there's two, there's another four down, there's another two down here. The last thing I bought from Poundland was this grey box. It's going to be um, put in my kitchen and I'm going to put all of my recycling in it because at the minute I just leave it on the worktop at the side and it just looks all messy. So I thought if I had a storage box here then I could just pop it all in there and it's a nice grey colour so yeah I bought that one. I don't know if you saw my haul where I bought the kids their school shoes but Sophie tried hers on today which is the first day back at school and they were tight so she's had to go to school today in her old shoes and I've whisked to town to go to the shop and swap them. So she is actually a one, but the ones that she got were a one, but they felt really tight at the end and it's because they were like slip on ones. So I have got a size one and I'm hoping that they won't be too big. But I'll just show you which ones I swapped them for. So they are the patent ones with a strap across the front and then they've just got like a butterfly and some beaded detail there. And then they're just like that at the side. So we'll see if she fits in those ones. I did also nip to Marks and Spencers and I picked up Ellie a new winter, not winter, a new autumn outfit. So it's a two piece, which is like that. But I will just show you them individually. So it's this lovely like dusky pink colour and it's got really nice sleeves. And then at the back's got buttons up the back. And then the front is just like that, which I thought was really cute for autumn. And then the trousers are like a creamy white colour, and then they've got that detailing on. I got that in 12 to 18 months, and that set was £10, which I thought was quite good for Marks and Spencers. <clears throat> so I think I might put, put them in that this afternoon. Okay, and I went to Primark. I didn't get much from Primark, just a couple of bits, but I thought I'd show you. Firstly, I got some socks for me. There's three pairs in there for £2.50. So you get unicorns, and then you get a grey pair with unicorns on it. And then you get a black pair with nail varnish on it as well. So I bought those. I bought some tights. I bought large because I hate having tights that just feel tight, so I'd rather just buy a bigger size and then they're a bit, they're a bit looser fitting. So these are £2.50 and these are two pairs for um, like black glossy tights. And they are the thin ones, I haven't bought the thick ones yet because obviously it's not quite winter yet but this will do for now. So I bought the tights because of these two items I've bought. I have wanted a denim dress for absolutely ages and I saw this one and I just had to have it. <clears throat> so it's like a dark denim colour. There are the straps and then it just has two pockets at the front. Like that and then the back is like that. I should um, do a try on haul one of these days because it would say be, would say be much easier it would be so much easier to show you what I've bought if I've actually just tried it on but yeah I hope you can tell the gist of what it looks like but yeah that was a size 10 and that was £12 I think 
yeah, twelve pounds. But this is another dress in a lovely like dark burgundy colour. This is a twelve, so it's got the straps there, and then it's got like buttons that go all the way down. So it's like a velvety look going on here. And then the back is just like that. But yeah, I don't really do dresses or anything. I just thought that I would buy some dresses, some tights, and then can wear them with my little, little black boots. But yeah, that's everything that I bought. Guys, I hope you like this video. Please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And also don't forget to give my Instagram page a follow as well. And yeah, I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.